Yep. Look. It's got a reindeer on it. <laughs> Hi. Megan Smith Gaming 539 here. I don't know what you're thinking. This isn't the type of layout or attitude people have usually had to these videos this at this time of the year. Laid back ish, relaxed, half past midnight. <laughs> and then you've got a guy in his pajamas talking about the year that's just gone by. 2017 has finally just about finished and it was a doozy. We got another Star Wars film so it wasn't all bad but then we did get Justice League. But then we also got Thor Ragnarok. We got some good stuff, we got some bad stuff. I'm here to talk about the good things to do with with gaming. Because I'm a gaming channel, that's what I do, gaming stuff. Um, and this list is only five items long because I've not played a lot this year. I've not had the money, I've not had the time. But I managed to get a list, scrape a list together of the five, my five favourite games I've played that were released this year. Obviously the ones that were released this year is a, you know, a must. I've just been playing James Bond, Agent Under Fire, and that's old. Anyway, let's start with number five. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Three them the nuts, three them the nuts. This is a great game, straight up. It looks good, it plays good, and with the added portability. Portability. It looks good, it plays good, with the added portability. Portability. Port <laughs> the added portable feature of the Switch. It suits my lifestyle really well, because I can play it while looking after the child or I can take it to work and play it on my break. I don't, but I could do. And I could play it on the bus if I ever got the bus. I could drive, so I don't do that either. And I'm not ignorant, so when other half is driving, I don't sit on it. I don't listen to you. Then you get travel sick anyway, so, but, you know. And besides, who doesn't like Mario Kart? You know, it's got all the usual Mario Kart things in there. Well, it's, it, it, I know it's pre-release for the Wii U version, but it's got all the stuff you want from the Mario Kart game. Only it looks nice. So, number four, we've got Destiny 2 PC, because I've not played the console version, so I don't know if there's any difference apart from graphics. Apparently the PC version was built from the ground up for PC, you know, it's not just a port, apparently. But obviously this is another great looking game for the PC, and it's got a better story than the previous version of the game, Destiny 1, vanilla, anyway. And when you play it with friends, it's all a lot more fun, I bet. All my friends got up on PlayStation. All this obviously is considering you don't mind a little bit of grinding in your games. There's some challenge in this game as well. Apparently there's quite a bit of challenge in the raids. Uh, not a chance to do that. Because again, now my friends got it on PlayStation. Bastards. But what I have really enjoyed in this game is the multiplayer. The uh, crucible, eh, uh, crucible side of the game is very fun. Fast paced, not too hard, not too easy. Not as rapid as Call of Duty, but not as slow as the next entry in this list. Number three, we're rolling in on Sniper Elite. I'm looking at the notes on my knee here. Sniper Elite 4. This is a game I didn't really expect much of. I think I pre-ordered it, but only because it, you know, intrigued me. I never played any of the, any of the other three games. Sniper Elite 1, 2, and 3. But looking back, I really wished I played it more. I did upload a few videos on the channel, and the first one did really well. It might have been on this channel, it might have been on a different channel. It might have been on the Baby Fish, I can't remember. But you know, the video did very well, and I just genuinely enjoyed myself playing the game online, especially. Because when it came to Call of Duty and stuff like that, I was the guy that camped as much as he could, so like snuck about. And in this, you could definitely do that. There isn't much story to it to the game, but the levels are big open sandbox assassination levels, so you know. And the X ray kills make the game fantastic. Now, here we are, the number one and two are kind of take it as you will, you know, grain of salt and that. Team, bruv. Yeah. Um, because these two are really interchangeable, they're changing all the time for me for this year. But as the list says right now, um, number two I've got Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch. What a game. Again with the uh, portability of the Switch kicking in again, but this time with a game that feels like an actual AAA game. Mario Kart is good, but it's almost the same on the DS. Whereas this feels like a fully fledged AAA title, which it is, on such a small device. That was my first like feeling of that, and it's just amazing. It's what made me want to buy the Switch. I've not played many Zelda games before this, but I've played a few and I've enjoyed what I've played. And this just 
blew my mind. It looks amazing. It plays amazing. It's not too easy and at times it is really hard, but then sometimes it's not. The bosses are great. I've not actually finished the game yet, so I don't know what the last boss is like. And I haven't unlocked the motorcycle yet, <laughs> which is new. But everything from the detail, like how, you know, the, the mechanics where you can't climb up stuff. If it's raining because it's slippy, you know, if it gets too hot, you start losing half. If it gets too cold, you start losing half. So you need to start wrapping up or stripping off. It's just a genuinely good time and it's one of them games where you can not play it for ages and then you can pick it up and you can still have a blast because it's such a great game now number one if you follow me on twitch which you probably don't because 59 people do but none of them watch my streams uh, then you'll know what this is uh, it's player unknown battlegrounds proper pc game <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you know about this game, you know what it is, it's a battle royale game, you jump out of the plane, it's one of the most played and talked about games of the year, possibly game of the year, I don't know how that works, but it is such a great game, it's so immersive as well when you're running across a big open field, you know, you've got your level 1 hat and your level 2 vests and your assault rifle with 4 times and you're just running solo, so you're on your own, something like this, playing the game, headphones on eyes on your screen a little bit of input lag <laughs> because your computer's not quite good enough because it's optimised badly and then BAM you get shot it doesn't hit you it misses but damn do you shit yourself this is also the first game that I've put in over a hundred hours on since I got a gaming PC you know it's the first Steam game I've got with over a hundred hours on it I'm proud of that 118 as of right now so that's good I guess. The way this game does shine is when you're playing it on squads, four player or even duos or triples. This game just rocks when you've got good squad, play it with some friends and we have a good laugh but then we also take it seriously when we have to and that's what gives this, for me, gives player unknown battlegrounds a winner winner chicken dinner for the year. See what I did there? Because it gives you winner winner chicken dinner when you win. I've never won a solo game. Anyway, that has been. <laughs> anyway, that is my top five favourite games I've played of the year. It's not all the games that have came out this year, obviously. There probably are some better ones that I've missed, but I don't have a lot of time or money. So, you know, I haven't even played Call of Duty yet. Wow, that's weird saying that out loud. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to smack that like button and subscribe and comment below and let me know what your favourite games of the year are. Also, I am going to be uploading a lot more after the new year. I've slowed down quite a lot recently with the Christmas period and New Year, you know, the holiday period being a thing. Kind of slowed me down drastically because I've just genuinely not had the time with work and Christmas and stuff. But yeah. I've got some ideas for 2018. I hope it's going to be a good year. See you then. Peace.